I'm not sure where I am. The last thing I remember, I appear to be in the land of the lost, and I found Enoch in a pylon, and he was supposed to help me get back to my base on Mars, and he was upset because I pronounced his name Enoch, which is some sort of insult and altrusion, apparently. So he said he was going to send me home, but I think he appears to send me in the back rooms instead. Great. Uh, luckily, Enoch had an interdimensional VPN internet connection and a Peacock, Peacock subscription, so I did get to see the first two episodes of La Brea Season 2. I was going to wait for the season to be over before I made another video about La Brea, but my Season 1 videos got two or three views lately, which is two or three views more than I normally get, so I decided I better strike while the iron's hot. The other reason I made this video is that I'm still holding out hope that La Brea is a Land of the Lost reboot and that that building that Rebecca Aldridge takes Scott into in episode one of season two is actually a giant pylon like the one from the Land of the Lost, only skyscraper sized. I also was thinking that Altrusian and Aldridge both start with Al and we will find out that Rebecca Aldridge is actually a time traveler from the future or a time traveler from a lost civilization in Earth's distant past similar to Enix background in Land of the Lost. Altrusian, Aldridge, get it? I thought we would find out by episode 2 but it looks like we won't at least until episode 3. All we saw was Scott returning to camp getting ready to explain what he saw while he was with Rebecca. This whole Land of the Lost speculation thing is the only thing that keeps me watching La Brea. It's, La Brea is diverting but it's not that well written. So recapping at the end of season 1 uh, Riley and Josh get sent to 1988 with uh, little Isaiah, who as an adult would become Josh's dad in the 21st century. Isaiah gets picked up by nuns along with Lily, a girl uh, that was from the 2020s, also stranded in the past. Isaiah is now, of course, to become adopted and renamed Gavin. While things seem to be on course for Lily and Isaiah, Riley and Josh, Josh's presence in 1988 seems to be screwing up things as a giant sinkhole from under the famous Hollywood sign appears. Josh and Riley don't remember this happening in their 1988 and they know that they must go down the sinkhole to return to their parents in the past. They meet some sort of uh, temporal sinkhole expert who helps them figure out that they must go down the, the Hollywood sinkhole. And he tells them that other, another devastating sinkhole is going to open up that will wreak havoc on California's coastline, according to his expert uh, sinkhole calculations. Uh, the Hollywood sinkhole is being blocked off by authorities to keep other people uh, out of danger. So Josh and Riley have to figure a way to get past the guards to get down to the hole to the past. Uh, Riley also tells Josh. Je Riley also tells Josh. She doesn't like him in a romantic way and thinks they have just been brought together by their dire circumstances. Josh is a pretty good looking guy and I'm, I can't believe that he gets stuck in the friend zone. That's something more likely that would happen to a guy like me. Gavin and Izzy make it into the past, luckily in Los Angeles, so they don't have to trek all the way from Seattle now to find even Josh. While Josh is stuck in 1988, Eve and Levi get trapped by another faction of past dwelling humans called the Exiles. With different factions of primitive humans in the mix, it kind of looks like they're trying to be more like Game of Thrones than Land of the Lost. I bet some dragons might appear sometime later in the season. Back to Izzy and Gavin. They waste the whole scene where Gavin is hunting a wild boar for supper, which I thought was ridiculous because as I said before, they should have went down to the past with some supplies. Izzy briefly befriends a baby woolly rhino in another scene which was reminiscent of how Holly in Classic Land of the Lost befriended a little dinosaur she names Dopey. When Gavin gets to the camp of the 21st century refugees, he finds that his family is not there but Silas is, and he gets Silas to agree to help him to find Eve, who has been captured by exiles. 
Silas tricks him, and Gavin gets trapped along with Eve and Levi. Well, I hope the next couple of episodes uh, we'll find out definitively as to whether or not this is a Land of the Lost reboot. It doesn't really matter anyway. It seems they are going to take things into a more Game of Thrones direction. Now, if I could only find a way out of here. Enoch, I'm sorry. Can you send me back to Mars now? Enoch? Oh, oh, I think I see an alien there. You know, I'm an expert dealing with aliens. Uh, so, uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, hi, I come in peace. See, look, I'm making the peace symbol. Live long and prosper? No? What the heck is that? Whoa! Okay, see you next time. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Spaceman Matt's sci-fi vlog today. The fate of the world depends on it, I guess.